folks how you doing today I'm back on the car share so I wanted to share with you some answers to questions that I received from a few of you on my Instagram uh, you, right? you guys don't like emails <laughs> everybody sending me messages on Instagram uh, okay so I wanted to uh, I was asked about my services so I'm going to just uh, quickly give you an overview but also um, really focus and zoom in on my flagship offering which is the nutritional coaching and lifestyle coaching uh, and what they encompass per se so I offer lifestyle holistic nutrition uh, clearly here in Portugal I cannot call myself a nutritionist per se just like in the US you have some red states where uh, the word nutritionist only applies to people that do a four years um, Bachelor of Science in a university and not a nutrition course I can completely appreciate that and why uh, equally though I every nutritionist that I speak to from these institutions thinks the same doesn't question things as much and you know even my friends who are dietitians they actually study dietetics um, have the same feedback and when they went on to study more understand a lot more even about plant-based mostly um, especially in relations to things like diabetes um, they have the same feedback so of course I don't like cookie cutter anything because I feel that I'm, I'm unique in my experience uh, my knowledge is really vast I've been at this for a very long time and I wanted a course that was much more holistic so the uh, Energetic Health Institute really helped me with that Dr. Um, Dr. Ely is a brilliant mentor as much as now and I'm studying uh, naturopathy I'm studying uh, a lot with Dr. Moores and he's mostly detoxification specialist but so that part is with him and then um, I have a U U UK school uh, that I, uh, I learned from to actually get my degree but I certainly have to be careful with the wording but I mean I do teach nutrition to my clients and I teach in the sense that I will give knowledge to my clients so that they are able to make the better choices for themselves by understanding the dynamics of food with the body. Holistic nutrition, however, is not just about what you put in your body. That's where it starts because we eat three times a day, twice a day, some of us, um, every single day. And so that's a very important thing because everything you put in your body is going to either contribute to having more energy or having less of it. And clearly, we want more energy. We want our mitochondria to be able to create ATP. We want to make sure that our cells are in healthy, in a healthy balance, in a pH, in, um, in a net, you know, positive, as in um, alkaline environment, pH environment, not acidic, especially in interstitially and inside the cells, because mitochondria actually thrives with that kind of pH, with alkaline. Uh, we want to understand the the role of lymphatic system, kidneys, um, thyroid, pituitary, like this, those things are connected and sadly, those are things that are actually not taught per se in in the in Bachelor of Science in Nutrition uh, and Dietetics and you know I of course love learning and geeking out about all the nutrients and what kind of nutrients you have in every food and how they interact with each other and how you can absorb better things like say iron you pair it with vitamin C to absorb it better and so on and so forth but it's much bigger than that so aside from what we put in our body is also our lifestyle so we look at everything and so of course when you do the actual holistic nutrition you get the lifestyle as well but I also have a high, uh, lifestyle coaching program which kind of works a little bit more about on um, how we interact with our life so our relationships our career our money like all these things and I love these topics because nobody teaches us those when we go to school or even our parents if they're not savvy they cannot teach us anything about that because they were not taught so it's really really important to get these things done and down but also with the with the lifestyle coaching there is a part that is also I also have in the uh, in women empowerment coaching which is self-love self-acceptance self in the women empowering there's also a lot more uh, esoteric and spiritual work to, to be done because we go into the ancestral work we go into our lineages we go into actually the history of the feminine there's a lot of stuff that we have to learn that I really was blown away when I started studying and researching and so I share it in that particular program but the lifestyle coaching encompasses the self-love and um, and of course you know the um, 
the, the relationship we have with ourselves so that we can really project that relationship onto others. And I mentioned, uh, and I actually also uh, kind of go in a very base level um, into the human design. I am going to qualify as a human design uh, reader, if you want to call it that, or specialist, because I love to work with human designs. I mean, you can really reach your potential when it comes to that. And I really want to partner up with my friend Antonia, who does a lot of uh, divine healing and readings. And they, again, connect so well with the human design. And I, you know, I, I, love, I love partnerships where people can bring their skills and their strength to mine and really give an amazing, powerful um, package and holistic view of a person's life and, and personalities and body type and you you name it and i also add a lot of ayurveda into it because i've been always passionate about it and um i've been starting i've been studying ayurveda since 2013 so um 10 years that i've been looking into it and i really really embrace how wonderful and holistic it is and my trip to india in 2014 was so powerful i had the chance to see amazing Ayurvedic doctors. I was gifted the most amazing, beautiful book about aging and Ayurveda. I thought that was, it was funny because 10 years ago, you know, aging was like, um, but even now, that's the thing. I don't worry about aging. I'm actually so excited about, I mean, next week, Monday is my birthday. I'm turning 42 on this plane and I couldn't be more excited about it. Like I actually was so excited about when I turned 30 because my 20s were amazing in terms of fun, but they were so non, non, not rooted in anything. I was just scattered. I had a bad relationship with my body, with food, I mean, you name it. And so in my 30s, I just really, oh. And I mean, this, these experiences actually allowed me to create the packages that I offer. So Ayurveda is part of it, graceful aging is part of it, or graceful um, growing, I actually wanna call it because Physically, honestly, we can really, we can be beautiful at any age. And as long as you look after yourself, what's inside shines through. And people always compliment my skin. They always compliment my, my vitality, how I glow. And that's honestly, and I don't use any particular skincare. Um, I, I shared last night, I had a, like I use Cartier for uh, masks. I mean, that's simply clay. But I use, I make my own oils with like different oils, you know, jojoba, jojoba and uh, argan oil and um, calendula. Like I don't use any fancy anything. I don't use any any fancy nothing. Like I don't spend loads of money. I make my own skincare. But what I put inside my body, it's the investment. So um, although sometimes I have to like be a little bit tighter on my on the belt, you know, I can't buy super foods all the time. They're expensive. Um, I have a good stock of them and I just focus on the superfoods in the terms of in terms of fruit and vegetables like those are superfoods so I embrace their lifestyle and their lifestyle clearly embraces me so I'm super excited to share that with my clients because they want to look amazing and they want to feel amazing and honestly it's not about the look it's more about how you feel like imagine waking up in the morning and having all the energy in the world now I know as we are getting as we get older in age our hormones are shifting and in our 40s we start perimenopause towards our 50s we're going to enter our menopausal years and those shifts in hormones can really um, make us feel a little bit unbalanced that does not mean however that we have to get fat or we have to get ugly or we have to get wrinkly or we have to get tired or we have to get cranky or we have to stop having sex and dry up no 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 that doesn't mean it at all and that's the thing that when i work with my women especially and men that come to me will come with different problems but I don't really work with men as much my focus is definitely women because I feel that we are the powerhouse of this planet and a woman that is functional in every single way mentally physically spiritually especially in the years where our hormones are shifting we can shift the energetics of this world by changing the energetics of our body so those are my two really important coaching and of course, also um, having clearly like more of uh, you know the self love, the self appreciation. Then I have stress management programs where that encompasses um, meditation, journaling, uh, encompasses uh, breath work, which is one of the most amazing modalities I could ever recommend to anybody. If you learn how to breathe, 
trust me when I say it changes everything and again I was a bad breather I was a shallow breather breathing in through my shoulders instead of my core in my diaphragm and it makes a whole lot of difference when you breathe properly I don't think I could have even done half of the sports that I do now or the activities that I do now or with the vitality that I do now if I didn't learn how to breathe I'll be completely honest with you so those are key things key, key elements I love it that every time I drive by the way it starts in the rain anyway so <laughs> um, I wanted to share that because of the questions and then I have programs that are targeted at teenagers which I won't go too much into this now because I'm really trying to get into relationships with schools and really bring programs to schools that are affordable and they really can help the youth because every time I look at these poor kids, my heart breaks. And it's not just the physical stuff, it's not just the fact that they're changing hormones and breaking out and like helping them with that, but the self-confidence, the self-love. So again, those transferable coaching um, elements from an adult to a, a, a young person, so essential to help them navigate a world that actually is becoming tougher. If you hear in the background a cat, I have my cat in the back because it needs to go to the vet. So, um, Yes, I really, I, I love what I'm doing. So the other thing I'm gonna bring forward and I'll show it later, I have just gotten a CGM. So I have a, a continuous glucose monitor on my arm and um, I'm getting really a lot of support and help by my friend, Lauren Plunkett, who was on my podcast a couple of times. She is an expert in glucose management, being uh, having lived with the type one diabetes since she was 11 and um, now she is 40. So quite a long time. She learned so much. She's a, she's focused on plant-based. She really decom like really de deconstructs the whole like craziness around carbs and the carbophobia and really educates people about the fact that carbs are our friends and they're very good for us. And so I love working with her and she will um, she has been so helpful even because I obviously the, the fear for me was I want to do this because this is something I want to offer my clients so I'm looking at a platform called Very and it's a company I actually worked for last year part-time which was an amazing experience because that's how I learned about CGMs uh, and um, and it's basically to bring this option to my clients so that while we working on the coaching, we can see how the food affects their glucose, but also educate people about these so-called spikes and actually stop freaking out about spikes and actually understanding our metabolism really and glucose metabolism in particular. So super important and, um, and I'm doing that. So I'll share about that later because it's fascinating. And um, so yeah, I, I just wanted to bring this forth to answer your questions. So those are my uh, offerings right now. Of course, I do also Reiki and sound healing, which are only in person. The coaching programs can totally be done online. In fact, I'm really looking forward to Saturday. I have a beautiful online coaching session with a, a friend of mine who's been on the fence of doing this for years and finally is embracing it. And uh, he really needs it. And I am looking forward to helping him because literally, um, talking about this for years and when I say years um, I can go back to 2009 <laughs> so quite a few quite a few years and sometimes you have to just wait for people to be ready right um, yes, yeah my uh, ginger is really loud so um, that's what I wanted to share today and I really hope that this is helpful and if you are if you have any questions, you can send them to me. Feel free to email me. In fact, actually, I'm going to post a story with a sign-up sheet for uh, my newsletter, which I'm going to become much better at, at, at writing because if internet goes down or if social media goes down, I can't even reach you guys. But if I have a newsletter and you guys are interested in what I have to say, which a lot of you I know are because you're always asking questions, uh, and we have these private conversations, which are really inspiring to actually writing the newsletters because those questions, I'm sure, are asked broadly by a lot of people, then I can actually reach you with uh, quite a few pieces of information without spamming you, of course, and really trying to, to share the goodness that anything that I do can bring you because ultimately I do this to serve and I do this to educate and empower the people that work with me so that you become the healer 
that you're born to be. And once you have that knowledge, you don't need me anymore. So I can move on to helping your people and you actually can move on to even helping more people because from your experience, you will have amazing gifts that you can share with the world, whether you become a professional coach, whether you become a professional healer, whether you are just sharing with your family and friends. I mean, anything is possible. And I, you know, some people are not interested, but a lot of people are, and you just want to help because again, the good people are really on this planet to serve. That's always the case. I never had a different experience in my whole entire life working with different humans. So, uh, of course, some of them are not, but never mind. The ones that are, really, <laughs> they are. So, all right, I will see you soon. Bye.